Hello, everyone. And welcome to a Tuesday and or Thursday. I don't remember. Tuesday. Tuesday. So welcome to... Uh. I say it every time, but this, I, I really feel it in my soul and heart this time. A good old-fashioned Ben's Thrift with us. Oh. I feel like it has been a millennia. I feel like since, I, Especially since we've done I one together. Home. I have not been to the Ben's in a month, which for me is like withdrawal. Yeah. Like, I literally feel like I'm getting the shakes when I get in the Ben's. <laughs> it's wild, but I'm finally, finally back. Yeah. For me, Thankfully. I think it's been at least two weeks, and for Ryan, it's been a month. We've been on this whole mm. Freaking garage sale journey together. Bad idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> no, not bad idea. Learning experience. But I'm very, very excited to be able to kind of go back to something that we're comfortable with, that we're used to, that we just can have a good time doing. Like, exactly. a for sure, good time. Mm -hmm. So we're at the bins today. It is a Tuesday, actually, which is not a normal bins day for us. It looks pretty busy as mm -hmm. for the parking lot, but... It's totally random. Sometimes it doesn't look busy out here, but then it is inside. Sometimes it looks totally busy out here, mm -hmm. and then there's no one and inside. there's a tumbleweed inside rolling around. So, you know? we'll see. Also, my cousin that went with me the last time I went is actually here today as well. Kind of like last time. Yeah. I doubt she wants to be on camera, so you guys might never see her at all. But if <laughs> I'm like, my cousin gave me this, or look what I found for my cousin. She's here. That's, it's because she's here with us. And for you guys, it's just like in spirit, I guess, because you won't see her. In in memoriam, though she is very healthy and alive. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk goals because it's been so long. We were just having the conversation of I believe we are in this weird gray area of an mm -hmm. interseasonal kind of situation where we are in summer now. So you don't really buy summer stuff because like people buy things ahead of the season for the season. Correct. But we are still too far from fall to like focus on fall. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if some like flannels trickled in or like you found a good rails or something. I'm not gonna say It's no. not a bad no. thing right now, but it's a little early to mm -hmm. like focus on sweaters yeah. and focus on flannels and stuff. And there yeah. is a woman walking right by Ryan's window. Hey, queen. <laughs> I think though that I, I don't have a direct focus on like specific types of pieces or seasons, but I mainly want to get stuff that will fit into inventory bags, I think is my big thing. I said I'm playing the wild card. Anything the universe wants to throw at me that's not like alive and a little mouse, go for it. Yeah. I'm ready. Here we go. So we're pretty open to anything I'm today. I'm excited, man. I'm getting antsy sitting in this uh, car filming this little thing. I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll go in, but we're both open to kind of anything, so expect us to go for anything. Except... One more thing. I don't want to get stuff. I'm garage sailed out with getting like things <laughs> and stuff and marketplace stuff. I just am not in the mood right now. I need a good like month off even from the marketplace stuff. So don't expect too much of that. If I find a little no. something something for my own little casa. If there's pottery barn no. or something, of course I'm gonna get it to sell, but like I am not gonna yeah. get any $10, $20 marketplace stuff. Okay, let's go in. My cousin's been waiting. She got here faster because Ryan had to glam up. For the I bin. put on moisturizer <laughs> and shaved a teeny little eyebrow hair. <laughs> okay, so we're going to run in because Ryan's going to jump out of his freaking shorts. And one of the first things I found ended up being one of the biggest disappointments of the day. It is this pair of really adorable Lucy and Yak pants. If you've never heard of this brand, it is a very big bolo. It's kind of like one of those newer, obscure indie brands, but their stuff does really well. And these had a massive hole in them, but look at how cute they would have been. Oh, so sad. In terms of things I am actually going to be keeping, I did find this really cute little like workout golf skirt I'm going to be taking to Play-Dohs. They actually really like these and just posted on their Instagram recently that they want some more. So I will take that into them. Then I found this really cute little lingerie top that I think I ended up throwing back just because I do believe I found a little spot or two on it. This pair of American Eagle jeans I did get to take to Play-Dohs as well. They are this really nice like high-waisted kind of distress line and they are from I think 2020 which is good and I think this is the first time I've actually ever found this brand in the wild the brand is Alpha Leap 
I think it's kind of like a Gymshark situation where it's like really trendy kind of like online situations. Okay, after a very wonderful bin switch out, Jack handed me this really cute little orange Y2K leather bag. This is going to be perfect for Depop and all of the wonderful little girlies. The shoe change out was very chaotic, as they tend to be, but I did thankfully find a couple of wonderful little gems, the first of which being this really amazing pair of Y2K wooden heels, this really cool silver metallic detail. These I got home and realized they were very dry rotted. So word to your mother, always do the dry rot test whenever you get shoes, because it will save you the heartache when you get them home. This long shop I actually did end up purchasing, and I took it home and cleaned it up, and she looks wonderful. And the other purse that I ended up finding was this really nice, I believe this is a 1980s vintage Dunian Burke tan leather little horseshoe purse. It just has a couple of little marks on the exterior and then a few minor pen marks on the interior, but other than that, this bag is in really, really good condition. Oh, I lied, I did get one more bag. And then there's this really nice black leather coach. I believe this is the Maggie satchel and this really cool kind of like textured C monogram. My first stop upon arrival into the bins was to the shoe bins, so this is not post-rotation or anything. I just sometimes like to check it out before I get into anything else. There are many brands that a lot of people that go to our bins don't know or wouldn't know to pick up or maybe just wouldn't be interested in, so I don't mind looking in the stuff that basically everybody left behind. My cousin handed me this Ferragamo heel that she wants me to look for, so I am also on the hunt for that. While looking for her Ferragamo, I found these and I thought that I scored, and then while filming this clip, I noticed that her dog got to these boots, so I had to throw them back. Hey everybody, it's me, Ellen. I miss Kate McKinnon playing Ellen on SNL. <laughs> Well, I've never had a soul, so I guess I could use this. I have no soul. <sighs> it pains me to skip a leather jacket, but this just isn't the style I like to sell. I like to sell the ones that are more like blazer fitted, not the moto motorcycle kinds. All right, finally something good. I found this Theory jumpsuit. It is completely sleeveless, but it is so nice. I don't know why nobody grabbed this. This isn't even a new bin. Shoe rotation underway. Dang, so I got lots of shoes to report to you guys. Let's dive into this bag and see what I found. So first up, the best of all for sure, these are some gothic punk platform buckle patent leather boots and they get even better because they are by the brand Demonia, which is like the name in punk goth scene kid shoes. I am so pumped. I don't even know yet how much these are going to go for, but I could guarantee it is a couple hundred probably about. Great find. I also found these Stuart Weitzman suede combat boots. These will probably just go to the real real, but they're really cute and I probably honestly could sell them myself. These are some other really nice leather boots, and these are actually by And Other Stories. I honestly didn't even know that they made shoes, especially not at this good a quality. They are really, really nice. And then I also found these high riding boots. Super cute, and they're actually by Dolce Vita. Okay, after a very fruitful, very wonderful little clothing switch out, I ended up finding this really cute apron. And I had a sneaking suspicion I knew what this was, and then I saw this wonderful little tag on the bottom and confirmed my suspicion that it is an anthropology apron. This is such a cute piece. There's a couple of little stains in the front, but no big deal. This I got for me to try on, but I unfortunately was not able to fit into this. It is really cute though. It's the 70s acrylic men's kind of like button down, a little lightweight sweater. So this is definitely going to be a Depop find. I really enjoyed this. It's just this cute little 70s look in. Like, I think it's like supposed to be a headscarf, but you could wear it like a necklace and like tie it as like a little bow under a blouse. That'd be super cute. This was a really nice pair of J. Jill pants. I got these to take to the consignment store. 
but I believe there was one little spot on them, which is good because I need to wash them. And another very amazing, wonderful clothing switch out. I found this really cute little bikini top. Come to find out, this is a brand called Kini, K-I-N-I. This didn't have a tag in it, but when I Google image searched it, that is what popped up. And I confirmed that it was the same one. They are actually very expensive, so keep your eyes out for those and be on the lookout. This is a Tommy Bahama piece for my dad. He is going to be visiting in the next couple of weeks, so I will just give this to him when he comes to visit. This really cute little Weezer top Jack gave to me. These always do really good on Depop for me. This I'm going to take into the consignment store. It's just an Under Armour piece, and it does need to be depilled just a little bit, but they really like the Under Armour stuff at my consignment store, especially because it's men's. This was just a new with tags, a little women's plus size top. They love the plus size stuff, so I will take that to the consignment store. These I got for me. They didn't end up looking how I wanted them to, so I am going to be taking these to Plato's Closet next time I go. It's just a pair of H&M men's dress pants. This was kind of the find of the day. I was so excited to find something a little bit more on the bougie side. It's this really adorable Alexis top, and this is not the Alexis for Target. This is good mainline Alexis. I think this is super cute with these like billowy little puff sleeves. I'm very, very happy. The vibe of the day was like a lot of very good little bread and buttery things. This is a pair of Sweaty Betty leggings that I was able to snaggle out of a new bin. These are the all day tight and I love that they have the names in them. The 7 8 length, everything is right there in front of me. Perfect. And I like those up and they are newer, which is really nice. This is a newer J. Crew blazer. This is the Regent blazer. I looked these up and these are still $220 online, which is really crazy. So that was really nice to find that. I really liked this little jacket. It's just this fun little purple jacket and it says track and court because I think that's kind of cute. It's giving very sporty and rich. These juicy pants I pulled out of the new bin switch, but unfortunately I am going to have to leave them behind. They have just a couple too many bleach stains, but they are the old good label ugh, vintage juicy couture, but there's just a few too many little spots on them. So I am going to send these back. I was really excited to pull this next sweater out of the bin. This is a naked cashmere piece, which is a very, very expensive. And this is a very, very nice duster cardigan with these funny little star prints on it. It does need to be depilled just a little bit, but I am super happy to do so because this is a very, very good piece. And right under the naked cashmere in the bin was this really nice sweater brand that I had never heard of. It is called Monsoon. I googled it and they are actually quite expensive, so I did go ahead and pick this one up. I love this navy blue color with this really detailed white floral embroidery. That was also a very good find. This I actually did end up throwing back. It was this vintage, I want to say 80s, maybe early 90s Blakely dress, but unfortunately this had a few little spots on it, so I did leave it behind. Can you guess who's keeping the big David Bowie t-shirt? It's me. I actually really love this. I've been looking for one of these for a while. I love David Bowie, so I decided to keep this. And after the most recent clothing switch out, I did get a couple of really good little bread and butter pieces and some fun things for Depop, like this Hey Arnold t-shirt. I loved this show when I was a kid. It was one of my favorites. So I was very excited to find that. I found this really cute pair of Torrid shorts. I loved these little red paper bag waist shorts with the belt, thankfully. Very happy the belt was attached. And then Jack threw me these next couple of things. He threw me this really amazing vintage Gorillaz t-shirt. These always do good on Depop. I think people really still do enjoy that band. This I'm going to get to take to Plato's Closet. It's just like this fun little like tie-dye chambray boutique smock kind of a situation. And as I was perusing the shoe bin, I did unfortunately only ever find one of these beautiful black suede Acrotalia boots. May she rest in peace. And with the shoe change, I thankfully did end up finding a couple of good things, like this really adorable little mushroom bag. I think this is going to do super good on Depop for all the little fairy goblin people out there. They are going to love this. This I got to take to the consignment store. It is a cloth and stone piece. They do mark this brand relatively high, so I was excited to find this. And they are looking for more of those like transitional pieces. That was a good one. And then one of you lovely human beings that saw Jack and I at the bins gave me these two hats. So thank you for giving me these. I am very happy to put them on Depop. They are very Barbie, very Y2K. Super excited. 
I did, in one of the newer clothing bins, find this really cute Urban Outfitters sweater vest, which I was very tempted to keep, to be completely honest, but we all know that I buy the sweater vest, and then I never wear them, so this will get sold. And the last thing that I found on this wonderful bins day was actually in the shoe bin. It was this really cute Frosty to Snowman fitting from Minnesota and Hannah Anderson little boy's pajama set. There's a little stain on the collar. I did wash them and it did mainly come out. I was so excited to pick these up. This has to be the oldest BB Dakota tag I have ever seen. It's also a very old style, so it's very fitting, but I just can't believe how old that tag is. Well, we've got another rotation underway. This time it is a clothing rotation. Everybody wish me some luck. It was definitely a good one. First find, Burberry polo shirt. This is so cute. I'll give you guys a better look at that when we do the haul. We have this really adorable Kelly Green Zara sweater. This should do amazing. It's also new without tags. So happy to find that. We also have a Hot Hippie, Hot Hippie, Hot Hippie, it's been so long I forget how to say it, Skull Tank Top. Normally I hate finding this freaking brand, but I will take anything with a skull on it, so I'm actually pretty excited. We have a Theory. We also have a Betsy Johnson Black Label dress. Ryan's usually the one that gets lucky with the Black Label Betsy, but I found one this time. Saks Fifth Avenue, but it is a really cute lemon printed blouse so i'll probably sell that myself got a good old classic aretha athleta so i'm of course excited to find that too it's in really good shape we have another theory top we have a banana republic blazer in a really beautiful green color a vintage halloween colored plaid skirt and a jack-o-lantern graphic t-shirt this is probably just from some cheap place like walmart or something but i still pick these up they still do good for me surprisingly I have found a number of really cute H&M today, like this puff sleeve, super chunky oversized sweater is just H&M. So I don't think I'm gonna get it because it's so heavy and stuff, but I wish it was literally any other brand. I also found this Woolrich blanket, but it was coated, coated in hair, pet hair of some kind. So I, there's no way I'm gonna sit there lint rolling that. It had to go back, but it was so nice. We have another shoe rotation underway, kind of surprising since they've already had one. And also these shoe bins look pretty full of shoes. So to have two full shoe rotations in one day is nice. Bougie tie find. Any guesses, anybody? What brand do we think it is? Step right up, take your guess. It is Gucci. We found a Gucci tie. And at first, with this logo on the inside, I thought it could be a knockoff. But with the lining and stuff, I did check it online and it is not. I also found this Trafalgar suspender, which is a super expensive bougie brand of suspenders. So if you see them, pick them up. Even the real world takes them. I found this really, really cute bralette. It ended up being by Adore Me, and I would have got it, but there's no tag with no size, and I have been too frequently getting bras with no size, and I don't know how to measure them, so it's just not a good idea. I found some Zaya leggings, which is great. Haven't found Zaya, honestly, in a hot minute. I also found this Athleta top and a vintage kind of sailor-style 70s top and this really really nice Zara coat that I'm very excited to have found and a Lululemon duffel bag that is in absolutely wretched shape but I know you can bring in damaged Lululemon to Lulu nowadays and they give you some kind of store credit so I think I'm gonna do that with this especially if the cashier gives me a flat rate on it it appears that we did not do an outro for this video so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed shopping at the bins with us as per usual I know this one was a bit shorter than they've been recently but I think it was just a mix of being 
getting back at the bins and getting back in the swing of things and trying to stock up because we haven't been to the bins for a hot minute. And of course, my cousin being there and stuff that we just didn't, we weren't on our game as much and we didn't film as much as we would have liked to. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this and don't worry, next time we will make sure to make it a bit longer than it was this time. But do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because the next video on Thursday is going to be the haul from this thrift with us. And I think that there's a lot of really good stuff that you guys did not see in the thrift with us footage, including some very bougie, possibly luxurious items. So you're not going to want to miss that. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't. And we will see you guys on Thursday for the haul from this bins trip. I will see you on Friday on the second channel for sure. And I will see you with Ryan again on Saturday for What Sold Saturday. Mike says goodbye. Mike. Let's see if Will will say goodbye. Nope. Will is not a camera person. Mike is. Hi, Mike.